what's going on guys and girls sorry it's been a minute for the video i couldn't find my dang on gopro i couldn't find it to give y'all an update and i took the boat out three times already i love it only con that i have out of this boat is the carpeting under the pontoons they don't have any uh because so some some pontoons have a a padding or a rollers small rollers on it where it makes it easy when you're deploying your your boat into the water it doesn't have it. so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult when you are putting it in the water but i can live with it i use a motor uh, on the back to actually get it off of the trailer all the way uh, but for the most part everything else i love about it and one thing to note uh, when you do get this or purchase this vessel make sure when you're launching it to move your trolling motor from the front because it has a tendency of hitting his lip right here um after when, once you're trying to deploy you can kind of see a little groove right here but other than that i love this boat so a couple things that i added i did get the fishing package with the 50 horsepower to reiterate um so the trolling motor if, itself came with the foot pedals and i hate the foot pedals just that's just me i hate the foot pedals um so what i did i went out and i purchased the Minn Kota remote uh co-pilot adapter it was super easy to install all right boom so i can control it i can be sitting right back here controlling the motor up front instead of worrying about that foot pedal and i ain't got to worry about all those cords in the way so i love this i'll put this link for this down below it's probably like 120 150 bucks very easy to install um i think it's well worth of a purchase and did i add anything oh yeah and i added the rod holders on I added the rod holders on to the front uh to the front of the boat i did add one over here in the captains i may end up having to remove this one i just installed those i haven't put them up with the bimini top i gotta see how the bimini top works with this over here if it works right i'm really set that way everybody else can enjoy themselves and i can maintain my guidance here uh i have had what eight people on the boat already and i didn't see no issues with it whatsoever i end up picking up this little uh, aerator with the all it already has an aerator in it a uh, live well bucket all right this was a well needed thing for how we fish and uh, we weren't learning this lake that we've been going to which is lake washington up here in mississippi uh, but so far like i said i love the boat i love the boat one thing that did make me mad <sighs> you see these right here people you see this right here now i thought this was just to hold my rods all right you got your rod hold you got one two um three four five six seven eight eight places where you can store your rod hold your rod right no 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 i didn't even need these rod holders i didn't even need them let me show you you have four rod holders on it let me show you how it goes so all it does the handle of your rod uh, of your reel will go in these grooves all right let me just make sure i can get in so all you're doing you're sliding it up into this groove over and locks look at this look at this i didn't even need it and it's sturdy i caught we caught a lot of fish we caught a lot of fish on sunday oh that made me so mad when i figured that out this right here of course you can put your tools i mean this is the ultimate ultimate boat if you want to go out with your family enjoy yourself plenty of room uh, i mean we just had we had a blast on it the speakers are nice and loud uh, the Bimini top covers quite a bit of this boat because it's not that big and I mean I have no complaints whatsoever getting it on was easy getting it off of course I'm still you know what I'm saying I'm gonna end up installing a little roller pads on this boat um, but for the most part one quick thing I can tell people uh, when you are putting your boat back on your trailer don't put the whole trailer in the water I see so many people doing it leave uh, leave mm, leave some of your trailer exposed at least probably about yeah midway a little over midway exposed 
drive your pontoon up on it and use your ratchet in the, in the front to bring it bring the rest of it on board all right bring the rest of it on board using your ratchet in the front it is so much easier i had so many people staring at me when i was putting this boat back onto the trailer i can see them and feel them side eyeing me he's about to mess up but i did it was so easy getting this boat up on the trailer um what else did i do anything else i haven't done anything else to it uh i'm thinking about adding some power poles on the back of it still debating we did get this boat in some skinny water i think i was in two and a half feet of water which was probably nuts to a lot of people but i did it i just i just uh flipped my motor up use the trolling motor in the front and i'm gonna be making a push pole as an emergency just in case i'm probably gonna mount it on the side of the boat or somewhere on the inside of the boat just in case but overall i love the boat sun tracker did their thing with this 16 foot boat i mean it's perfect and i know it does say bass buggy but more than like i won't be catching too many bass uh more mostly crappie and i just found i was catching fish sunday and for some odd reason i kept saying man this looks like a drum this looks like a drum sure enough it was a i guess they call it gasper goo a lot of people throwing back i call i kept them because i know how to fillet fish they have an oily little substance uh you know a lot of the fish they have that red fin once you remove the skin i took all that off the meat is pure white pure white it's firmer but it's pure white uh soaked it in some salt water overnight I'm gonna, I'm gonna fry that bad boy up give it a taste and see see how that goes that might be i might be this might be the drum killer this might be the drum killer hey but thank you folks make sure you hit that like button subscribe and we'll see you on the next video peace